What's up everybody, my name is Matt aka The Constant and welcome to my traditional end of season ranking every skin this season video. This should be my last video before the huge Galactus live event happening on December 1st, 4pm EST. I will be live streaming it so I hope to see a bunch of you guys there. I'll be ranking every skin from chapter 2 season 4 in this video. If you guys are excited remember to leave a like and consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. Because we're on the road to 3,000 subscribers, your help is greatly appreciated. Big thank you to everyone showing support on the channel, you guys are all amazing. Check out the graph right over there, as you guys can see there's a bunch of people that regularly watch my videos and are not subscribed if you guys are one of those people hit subscribe today help the channel out thank you guys so much now without further ado let's jump on into the video and rank all of these chapter 2 season 4 skins all right as you guys can see we are on tiermaker.com i will be leaving the link to this tier list in the description below if you guys want to make your own and do it with me and this is every single chapter 2 season 4 skin as you can see we have a ranking from a to b to c to d all the way to f and these are all of the skins that we have to rank right here. I kind of feel like this is actually the most skins we've had in a long time in one singular season. As a lot of you guys know already, I love to start with the Battle Pass skins, so I'll be starting with Thor. Man, to be honest, I think Thor is going to have to go all the way to A tier. This tier list is going to be kind of tough because there's so many skins this season that I actually really do love. And whether you're a Marvel fan or not, I'm not sure if you can argue that they really didn't do a good job with the skins this season. I think all the skins this season have been amazing. Especially with all the built-in stuff as well. So Jennifer Walters is actually going to go to a B in my opinion. Now I use Jennifer Walters more often than I use Thor, but the Jennifer Walters transformation in the She-Hulk, sometimes her hair gets a little messed up and for that reason I'm dropping her down to B. This is going to hurt a lot of people's feelings, but I feel that Groot is going to go to C tier. I know a lot of people love Groot. Groot's a fan favorite, but he just didn't do it for me. Please don't hate me. Next up is Doctor Doom. He has the built-in emote. He can only use it for that reason. I'm going to put Doom as a C. I actually really love Mystique. I love her ability and I love the tactical version that you unlock at the end. I'm going to put Mystique at a solid A. I'm not even going to say anything here. I'm just going to put Iron Man at A. If you're rating Iron Man lower than an A, there is something wrong with you. Seek help immediately. I'm just kidding. I'm an Iron Man fanboy, so I got to rate Iron Man an A no matter what. But I do think they did an awesome job with the Iron Man skin and I actually do love it. Now that we got all the Battle Pass skins out of the way, the real fun begins. Remember, as we go along, be sure to let me know down in the comments if you agree or disagree with any of my choices. Oh my goodness, I do this every video. I forget one battle pass skin, Storm, I am sorry, and for that reason, I'm going to put you in the A tier. All right, now moving on to the rest of the skins, I'm going to start with Daredevil, and I'm going to put Daredevil right over here. To be honest, I think Daredevil is the only Marvel skin I did not purchase, a little underwhelming in the design. Ghost Rider, however, is going to go all the way to A tier because he's Ghost Rider, and it's actually a really awesome design. Man, I think Wolverine counts as a battle pass skin, I'm not going to lie. I'm I'm sorry Wolverine I'm gonna give you a B and that should be it for the battle pass skins please don't hate me all right moving on we're gonna go to Venom and Venom undoubtedly is an A there is no other place to put Venom Black Widow I actually love the Black Widow skin as well and I think A we're blowing through a lot of the A's right now and for that reason I'm gonna put an F on the board can you guess which one if you guys guessed mincemeat you are correct. I definitely think Mincemeat is the worst skin that came out this season. I know some of you guys like the look, but I personally cannot get behind it. And he has flies flying around him for goodness sake. There might actually be one more F on the board. I know I'm going to make an enemy here, at least one. I'm going to put Baba Yaga as an F. If you guys are one of the few that bought Baba Yaga, I am sorry. Next up is Headlock, another Halloween skin I wasn't really feeling. I'm going to put Headlock at a D though. Next up is Storm Racer and Pit Stop right here. I'm going to put both of them as solid Cs, but they were a little bit too basic. Next up we'll rate Violet, Nash, and Laparka. I'd say Violet is the best skin from the pack in my opinion. Laparka could go to a C, and even though I didn't really like Nash, I do respect the design and I do think it's a cool skin, so we'll give him a B. Grimoire, I did not like Grimoire as well. I really like the pickaxe that he came with, but I'm going to put him as B because of the originality. Next up, let's rate the Bone Pack over here. We'll start with the Bone Boss, and I'm going to put him as a C. Bone Ravage, a C. Fish Skull, a C. And even Skull Squad Leader is going to be a C. I didn't really like this pack, to be honest. It felt a little lazy, but I do see why people would want it. It is really cool for Halloween. Now, we have a bunch of different superheroes here on the board. I think I'm going to rate them all the same. So, all of these superhero skins, I think, 
deserve the A tier. There was a lot of hype surrounding these skins and being able to customize these skins the way that we do, they are really awesome. A lot of people do love to use just solid black just so that it's very minimalistic and it does look awesome, but I do still see a lot of awesome designs as well being used with these superhero skins. However, the Ghostbusters pack that seemingly almost copied the superheroes is gonna go to a C. They are pretty cool, they were priced reasonably, but I do not believe that these were great skins. Next up, let's throw Silver Surfer up to the B tier, really cool cosmetics as well. Blade will also go to B tier, also came with a really awesome first ever pickaxe. You get to swing it like a sword from Save the World. I actually love Patch and I love the back bling that came with Patch. Patch is gonna go to B. Hunk, another solid skin, also deserves a B. Still not sure how it's pronounced, but Sagan, Sagan is gonna go over to the C. Next up, Shimmer Specialist, I think goes to C as well. Next up, the Shadow Strike Pack. First off is this one right here, the Night Gunner. I'm gonna put him as a C. And Shadow Archetype and Mecha Team Shadow also are gonna be Cs. Next up is Kyra. I know if a certain person is watching this, I rate it too low, they're gonna be upset with me. So Kyra is gonna get a B. The Seeker that we got at the beginning of the season is not a bad skin, but I think it's gonna go to a C. Next up, Victoria Saint, I believe is going to the B tier. Anthea and Mora over here, really cool skins, really cool variants. I'm gonna put them both as B because they are very original and really cool. Adeline, Adeline, however you say it, is gonna go to C. Dark Scully is an okay variant right over here. We're gonna put her as a B. Dread Omen and Dread Fate are actually both really cool. They both deserve the B tier. The Corrupted Pack right here was really cool. You get to control the amount of corruption on the skins. I think the worst one has to be the Insight one and for that reason, it gets a C. The other two, I I believe deserve B tiers at least. Next up, we got the Goth Legends pack, a really hyped pack before it came out. I believe the worst one would have to be Arachne Couture, and for that reason, it goes to B. She looks really awesome in the profile picture, but in Fortnite, she looks a little bit off, so for that reason, B. The other two, however, really solid skins came through brilliantly. I believe Midnight Dusk deserves an A, and so does Night Surf Bomber. Next up is the Nintendo Switch exclusive skin, Wildcat. It's a really awesome one, but I don't believe it deserves an A tier, so... It's gonna go to B. Next up, we got ourselves the Battle Breaker skins. This one, I believe, is called Koro Homura. I'm not the best at pronouncing that, but it deserves a B. And of course, Razor, my queen and yours, deserves an A tier. I just love Razor's design and her back bling is top tier. Next up, Party Trooper with a J Balvin style gets a B. Ravina over here, probably my favorite of the Halloween skins that came out, gets a B. The Good Doctor over here, a really awesome take on Jekyll and Hyde, also gets a B. Next up, we got all the defaults, as you see, right down here. I don't believe any of the original defaults deserve an A, but I think all the defaults probably deserve a B. Even though they charge us for the defaults, I'm glad they brought them back so we could all enjoy using them now in Chapter 2. Turns, who finally appeared in the shop not too long ago, deserves a B. Next up, we have ourselves the newly released NFL skins. I think the ref deserves a C, a little uninspired there. Not much they could do, though, but the next one, the NFL skins themselves with the new aerodynamic look, deserve a B. Great for customization. I think they made them look better, but nothing special either, so a solid B. Next up, we have ourselves Heartstopper over here. I wanted a little bit more from the skin. Still a really solid skin, so it gets a B. Next up, the Fortnite and Intel collab skin right here, Wave Breaker, I think gets a solid C. We got Cobb over here. I waited until the end because I was still thinking of where to put him, but I think it has to go to the A tier. Can you really rate Cobb anything less than an A? Come on, look at him. We got a bunch of skins that we haven't seen yet, like Indigo Kuna. This one deserves a C. I believe Indigo Kuna will just be a variant for the people that have the skin, or maybe it'll return to the shop with that variant, but this one right here, the Cloud Striker, I believe will be the PS5 exclusive. We haven't really gotten a great look at her, but I'm going to put her as a B tier. We also have not seen Ice Raider, but she looks awesome, so I'm going to give her a B. We also haven't seen Backscatter. She's going to get a C. She doesn't look that different from a default. This skin right here should have a bunch of different variants. The variants go by the names of Slumberjack, Sergeant Snooze, Rem Raider, Nap Cap'n, Dozer, etc. People have been waiting for this skin and I think it deserves a B. Any of these skins that we haven't seen so far could be released within the coming days and maybe are released by the time this video goes live. We got ourselves the Last Laugh Bundle over here, Joker, Midas Rex, and Poison Ivy. I'm gonna be honest here, I think Midas Rex goes to B 
Joker goes to A, and Poison Ivy goes to A. Don't get me wrong, Midas looks awesome with his armor, but I don't think he competes with the Joker or Poison Ivy. And lastly, we have the Icon Series skin for this season. It is Lachlan. I believe the Lachlan skin deserves an A. And there you have it. This is our completed tier list. I just rated all the skins from Chapter 2 Season 4. I believe there was like one or two that they missed, maybe from the Save the World bundles, the Mecha Team Leader, and the Powerhouse skin. They would probably both be C or B tiers. Either way, let me know if you guys agree with my tier list in the comments below. Let me know what you guys would change or what you guys would keep also be sure to check in the description below for this tier list and make your own tier list tag me on twitter instagram whatever it is i would love to see your tier list as we prepare for the huge galactus live event happening on december 1st at 4 p.m est again i will be live streaming it so be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for that i hope to see a bunch of you guys there and if not i'll have a video live on the channel afterwards with my reaction thank you guys for watching remember to be true to yourselves be constant and i'll see you guys in the next one